Hello everybody, hope that you are well and we have a very special video for you today. You are going to want to pay full attention to this video as it is a live trading example from our mentor Mike. Mike is a trader with inside of our trading group who has now you know, reached the level of a coach. So he's out there helping people trading daily, making money. It's a brilliant, brilliant example. And uh, yeah, so I hope that you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the next 15 minutes of this video. Uh, make some notes because yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing example of how you can time these entries to the dollar and then make money. And it's, it's like wizardry. It's just so perfect trading. Lovely, lovely example. So please pay attention and I uh, hope that you can learn and take something from this one. Cheers. Yeah, so like this FIP resistance fan has been like so crazy, like so crazy. Let me see if I can bring this into this one and then hide that. It's been on there Twitter and like everybody's so bullish. Time to dump. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm pretty excited because oh, I'm so tired of like this non, 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 nothing, but. Look at this, this speed fan, I drew this uh, on the 1st of June. Like look how ex so crazy relevant this one was. Like literally wow. you could have just based trades off this, you know, like the 382 at first, you know, of course we dumped straight to the 786. Then we, then we came up, test, uh, back above, back tested it, you know, went back above, back tested it again. Then we kind of like hovered uh, for a little bit. Then we more or less uh, got rejected by this 382 again. Then we dumped through the 618, back tested it, hovered there around for a while, unable to get through that. Like, look how strong this level is. Like, one, two, three, four, five times before dropping to the 786 as support, then coming back up again to the 618. One, two, three, right? And then ranging on for a little bit, kind of like. I would say front running this level uh, also like correlates with horizontal levels with the weekly. And uh, then we just came back down uh, below once again, seven, eight, six uh, kind of wicked through that. Then we bounced from that again, right? Then we kind of ho started hovering around it. And this is where, where it literally just, it has been resistance ever since then. Like look how many times one drop two drop three drop four drop and then you know we had like a little yeah sideways range so to speak and then we came up again yesterday i believe this was uh oh no a couple of days ago back tested again then we kind of like basically went through it held it as support and then no strength and we got back down below and we just back tested it again like how crazy is that it's so insane. This really is what makes me excited, you know? <laughs> um, and now it looks like we're attempting the monthly. So I am pretty curious what is going to happen next. Wait, the monthly I'm, is at what level? Um, yeah, I have two monthly. Uh -oh. So this, no. I would say this one is like, I would say this one is, of course, it's still relevant. But I'm more eyeing now the 9,300 level, to be really honest with yeah, you. It's, so It's interesting. The monthly value area high for this month is, so far, it's 9,330. And then we have a monthly level at 9,340. Yeah. And so that's... And it's also a support and resistance flip area. Um, from yeah, that, it is. From that candle at 12 o'clock, that red candle at 12 o'clock on the 8th on your, on your chart. Mm-hmm. Um, at, at 12 o'clock on the 8th of July, 8th of this July, one. Yeah, right there. So that red yeah. candle with the wick. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's a Shows lot. how strong this level is. Personally, I do think like if, 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 if we now flip this, you know, flip this, this is the next region. Uh, in more particular, I would say 9,280 because the, this is like just below. It, it gives the opportunity to, for example, swing failure this low. This looks like short. This looks like longs closing though. No. Yeah. Let's take a look. I haven't, uh, I've updated my, uh, my, my chart or my, uh, extra charts. Um, they added some really cool new stuff in the footprint bar statistics. So what they added is, 
a couple things. So you can now here like say add row or delete row. So you can add or remove stuff. Uh, and you can add the time one. So you can, um, if you have it on the volume uh, chart, for example, and this is today, oh, this is new happening. since this morning. Oh, wow. It's We're happening. doing some. Uh... Oh, oh, wow. oh, yay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay. That's the previous. Yeah. This yeah, should be. I'm, I'm expecting some I'm kind of. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So this is a great example to show it into practice. So let, let's switch to the, to the 10 million volume Delta and a new feature here. You can see now the time. So you can see the time that it takes for every candle to print. This one was six seconds, 10 million in six seconds, 10 million in 24 seconds, 10 million in five seconds, 10 million. Well, yeah, definitely for <laughs> volume coming in, you know, definitely. So we are having some heavy selling, backtesting the previous day, daily value area low, and I am actually going to take a short. You're shorting now? If we get rejected from the previous daily value area low, I'm going to short. So if we get back above and change market so then structure, then I'm going to close out again. So that, that is my plan at the moment. You're going to close out of your short? Yes. The thing and is, then if you get above the previous day value area high, you're going to close out of your short and get into a long? What, uh, is that what you just, mm, is that what you're saying? No. So what, what I'm, yeah, it's, it's difficult because I'm literally in the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a little bit, uh, more or less three, three to five to, to, to 15 minutes. I am already in a short, but I'm actually looking also to take a, a short on my uh, swing account on Binance. Uh, and the original plan was actually to take a short here, but I missed that obviously. So what I want to see now, it's not, it's not really that big of a deal, but what I want to see now is kind of like, I want to see like a, something like this now. So the, like, I want to see 9,300 lost. So it is obvious. It is expected that we're now going to get a bounce. So two possible scenarios is that we're now going to go up and back test the monthly. And that could be a short entry or we're going to do something like this. And then I'm going to also take a short. So that's kind of what I'm looking for now. And for that, in order to determine what I'm going to do about that is I'm going to remember how long does it take for the 15 minute candle to close, which is two minutes. So I'm expecting some volatility uh, because of bots uh, within the next two minutes. Uh, and that can either be uh, a rise up or down. Right now, I'm also going to open the open interest. So the nature of the move, yeah, that makes sense. It's stopping out everyone, <laughs> essentially. So that makes sense. Um, yeah, it doesn't even look like shorts were taking profits, really. It was it just looks like this. Well, uh, yeah, shorts are taking profits here now. But not that many shorts. It seems like no. this is fueled mainly by like longs getting closed out. Yeah. Yeah, but it, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a stop hunt because, you know, um, not yet. Yeah. So I would say this is now a successful backtest. So I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to mark it into a short right now. And uh, I think I might do that too. <laughs> yeah, new shorts are opening right now. And I mean, if I see now a change in market structure or some crazy buys coming in, then um, I'm wrong, but I want to trade this price action. So that's fine for me. Just going to wait a tiny bit longer till the, till the candle is going to close. Yeah, I'm using 5 million volume. You're using 10 million. Do you know, is, is there, I know Daniel said he uses 10 million, but I remember originally, um, like somewhere back in May, he was talking about how he uses... Um, five million when he's scalping yeah it really depends on the market context so because yeah. the volume has been ultra ultra low here right so here you had like this this would be suitable for five million but let's say if, when we were in the par parabolic rise you could easily put it on like let's say 20 minute volume because there was so much volume oh yeah maybe that's why i have so, it on five million right now is because yeah. there's just such little volume 
so he literally hit the weekly point of control. Back tested. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna. I took a short. Now. And um, yeah, we bounced off of the weekly point of control. We now back tested the previous daily value area low. The reason why is uh, this is not too much shorts being trapped yet. So we might still bounce. I mean, shorts are opening up like crazy. I think people are yeah. actually market shorting still. Yeah. So just came in. Yeah, yeah. You big. can see it oh, coming in. Oh my right goodness. Now. Two big one million. Okay, longs just got liquidated. One point nine million longs. Let's go. I think I need to. <laughs> yep. More one point seven million. One point eight million. One point five million short. Five million longs liquidated. I don't know. I, I don't. Short. I don't want to FOMO. So I gotta. So now be aware, this is the this is the last low. So just stay relaxed. Uh, <laughs> level. <laughs> That's your favorite thing. <laughs> no, but I do agree. I remember last time we were dumping. Like, stay relaxed, stay relaxed. Yeah, stay relaxed. So next, so now we've broken through a massive level. You know, we're now below the point of control, right? So definitely bearish for me. Definitely, hundred percent. Not gonna long this. Uh, next level is this consolidation area corresponds with this low and the daily naked point of control, 9,195. Potential swing failure pattern possibility, right? So you can mark that one out. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm actually going to set an alarm. I'm still not really seeing on significant trader any big million dollar buy orders coming. Usually that's what happens when you start to get towards the end of the move, but exactly. So, and as of now, not seeing, that. not seeing it. So yeah. key level. So I'm having an alarm set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch back to exo charts and see what's happening over here. And now I know when an alarm pops, I know that we're have. I can expect the potential swing failure pattern and, you know, if you have, let's say, one screen only, uh, this is a good way to know exactly what's happening while you can keep your eyes on uh, the order flow at the same time. And by the way, this is also a new feature where you can see how much actual trades have been taken place. Are those mark? Scandal. Those are only market trades, right? Uh, those, those aren't like all the limit hmm. orders and stuff, too. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. This is just came out today. So yeah i don't know yet let's go back to the footprints so weekly point of control monthly point of control you know you would expect some sort of a reaction or consolidation at the very least so that all makes sense no no signs yet to close my short oh wow there was a big buy here though somebody just one. shorted 3.7 million and then two minutes ago somebody shorted 2 million so and there's still no big buy just coming in at all. Yeah, so we're now literally at the 786. The thing is now this point of control is the point of control of the entire range, right? So that is now obviously resistance. So then we have the next CC coming up at 9,129. Let me just double check if that is correct let me also hide this one and just get it so we obviously broken out of this channel <laughs> <laughs> on an on an increase in volume so that's a legit break i would say so let me clean up that mm -hmm. stuff as well we have this monthly this key level can be removed uh yeah so potential swing failure pattern here and i would say also you know, there, there's multiple things going on here. So let me let me just remove. Let me just hide some stuff, right? So let me just hide this, and we have. So you can easily read what's going on here. So l let's look at the four hour. You know, big uh, big thing. This was quite quite a long range, and this is on the four hour term time frame. So. And if you if you pull a fixed range of this range, right there, there's pretty decent level. So it's all super technical actually when you think about it. So we have this naked point of control at nine thousand one hundred and ninety-five. Uh, let me double check if that is actually the case. 
9,000, yeah, 9,195, which is, which is here. Uh, then we have the low, slightly below, and also the, 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 the value area high of this previous consolidation area. So that is the reason why we're getting a reaction here right now. Right now, we're literally just hovering just below the monthly point of control. So it's all like so incredibly technical and we're actually below it, you know? Um, so when it comes to trading level by level, first thing that you want to do is, uh, you know, flip this, then you have this level to reclaim. And then you ultimately, I would say looking for longs is reclaiming the daily value area low. You know, that, that would be the first potential sign of, of that you can actually uh, look for a lot uh, for, for a, how do you say that? So that's your, uh, that's your, that's the current day value area low. Yes. Yeah. That's the current day. Yeah. Okay. Which is also above the monthly again. So mm -hmm. just to make it a bit more simple, reclaim the point of control it could be an early aggressive entry. Uh, personally, I w I'm now going to wait till at least the monthly is going to reclaim in, even if I'm going to look for a long to begin with. Until then, I have no interest in longing any of this because look at the volume. You know, this is a four hour candle, closes in 47 minutes. It's, it's pretty decent volume, right? So I'm going to take a little bit more caution for scalping. I would say a good opportunity to potentially scalp along. Uh, could be this because here you have the point of control of the previous consolidation range backed up by a uh, CC, you know, so that, that could potentially give, give a bounce. And then the question is, is, is that going to give continuation and reclaim some levels and then go up? Or is it going to be something like something like this, you know, and then continue down, you know, that also happens. So that's, yeah, it's pretty clear to me, actually, now that I think about it. So that's my plan. <laughs> um, at the moment, it looks like it's... Um, I feel like uh, like I'm commentating like a soccer match or something like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed that video there from Mike and how he talks members through the trade in real time and, you know, how he's taking those shorts, what he's looking for, and, you know, giving a full explanation behind the trade and then making money from it is just a... Lovely, lovely, lovely trade example. I'm very, very proud of Mike. Um, so I want to just give you a quick overview of what's happening here myself. And, uh, you know, firstly, just give an introduction to Mike. Because I know many of you, he, he doesn't really do much public content. He's, he's only in the group. So uh, an introduction really is that and Mike has a really lovely story. Um, I'm very happy with him. <laughs> and uh, Mike, Mike joined the group uh, about two years ago now. And uh, from joining the group, he has built himself up. You know, he's studied all the content. He's learned everything that he needed to learn. And from joining as a member, learning everything, he then got a position with inside the company as a as a coach here. So then he's helping me, you know, teach the theory to members uh, that need it. So it's quite a quite a unique uh, company that we have here. Everybody that actually works for Chart Champions has uh, has originally started as a member and, and worked their way up through the company, which I I think is a really nice philosophy myself I, I'm, I'm really happy with how we do it but uh yeah my, mike is is a, an example of this he's, he's now got the coach position and uh yeah it all, all started from joining as a member obviously from you know originally losing and then building himself up and then coming one of the best traders it's just it's just so 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 nice and uh yeah that was a live trading example from him obviously we have a trading assistant now as well who uh is here to help beginner traders who probably don't understand anything that's just happened in that video uh <laughs> because it is pretty advanced and we now also have the trading assistant who's there for absolute beginners uh, but yeah basically i want to talk you through what i'm seeing on this chart at the moment okay and um this is a really nice example as well and you can see here this is a chart i posted on the 8th of july in the group so this is two days ago now and i posted this chart while we're up at the highs and this is identifying the range before it even forms like literally <laughs> so i was short from the time value area high and uh, you can see how this time value area high, we have a few key levels down to the time value area low here. And we literally just nailed this to the absolute dollar. OK, so that's from TVA, TVAH to TVAL. OK, value area high to value area low. You can see how this is traded from literally up those up at those highs, losing market structure, back testing the value area high, coming all the way down to that time value area low to the absolute dollar before getting a bounce up here. 
finished. So uh, naturally, the way you all you all know the way that I trade. When I short here, I like to take profits, then reshort, take profits, reshort. So I don't hold one position all the way down because I like to personally maximize <laughs> maximize everything I do in terms of profit results. But uh, literally, you know, perfect rotation work from those highs to those lows. Exact dollar, <laughs> like this guy says, you know, is kind of wizardry. It does feel like a wizard at, at times. And, uh, you know, you just got to stick to your plans. Uh, obviously, when you're entering shorts, OK, you then take profits when you reach these levels and then you can make decisions of, OK, now am I taking profits and switching? Am I taking profits and seeing the reactions? Um, you know, this is the way that I and many members like to trade and, you know, the, the results are there. You know, we're doing it every literally every single day, produ producing the results, producing the money, uh, you know, from these trades. So yeah, this this was a quick video to show you literally the precision, like li so, so, so precise, so precise, um, you know, th th that you can literally get on these levels, even that back test of that value area high, you know, that is the exact level that we still had. And that was a loss of a level back test to the absolute dollar. OK, before coming down to the value area low, bouncing to the absolute dollar. That's just like really insane precision that you, you're not going to see that anywhere else, let's be honest. So. Yeah, this was a quick video to really, well, it wasn't so quick, but a, a video to, uh, you know, let you see Mike's work and, and see how, how he has progressed. And I, and I think he's going to probably start to do some more public videos for us at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's only ever done stuff inside the group. But um, yeah, I hope that that was a nice introduction video for him in, into the public here that I'm going to release. And uh, yeah, then you, me just showing you how I myself am trading this at the moment. So yeah, I am in that short. But again, this for me is... Um, not not so long term trading. I'm, I'm <laughs> more 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 uh, day trading, you know. But nevertheless, I'm going to put this on YouTube. I hope that you thoroughly did, thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's been insightful, and I would say if you are interested in the mentorship that we have, if you're interested in really learning the the ins and outs of trading, how we are doing this daily, you know, the trading skills that we are teaching how we, you know, how we get these levels and then putting that into practice. Uh, we obviously then have coaches inside as well as myself to help you out. We then have, you know, customer service representatives, trading assistants, and this is to help you. You can become from a beginner trader and work your way up. There's, there's no reason why you can't. So if you're interested in that opportunity uh, to invest in yourself and really push forwards in your life, then, you know, we're more than happy to help you here at Chart Champions. Um, so, you know, you can come across to the website and check that out. So I'm going to put this on YouTube. Hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, always appreciate a thumbs up. And um, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Bye.